Hi, this is Bill Elliott, Technical Director for Chattanooga FC. I want to welcome everybody to tonight's broadcast. Tonight we're bringing you the 2016 playoff match versus Miami. The build-up to this match was very exciting. We had uh, come through and we won the conference title and we're meeting Miami in the playoffs for the third year in a row. So a rivalry had started to grow between the clubs. Miami had some of the most talented players in the league, such as uh, defender Bruno Camacho and uh, attacking player Rambo David on who had 83 caps for Honduras and played in the top Italian league. So we knew we were going to be in for a tough match. Um, the past couple of years, Miami had had a history of uh, being possession oriented but losing their discipline throughout the match and had a couple of red cards, one in each of the previous years. So our talk in the locker room and in the week leading up was the fact that we needed to stay disciplined and keep a clean sheet and that opportunities would present themselves later in the game to win the match. The atmosphere in Finley Stadium was electric as always. I think there were 10,000 plus people and you could feel the energy down on the field. And uh, it was just a really exciting match and exciting time to be a part of CFC. Um, we know that we will be back in Finley Stadium in, in that kind of atmosphere again soon. And we hope that everybody can still enjoy some uh, soccer in a safe environment while we get through this uh, pandemic. Uh, so enjoy the match tonight and uh, I'll have a few post-game comments for you later. Yo, know, what's up everybody? Gregor here. Um, I heard you having a watch party of one of the, the best games um, in, I think, in CFC history. Um, as you can, you can see, still got all my stuff, uh, stuff up. Um, the memories were unbelievable, especially that game. Um, the penalty shootout, the, the fans, the, the people involved. Um, probably one of the hardest and toughest teams to play against, not by pure talent, but um, aggression, as we, we, we saw. Uh, you see in the highlights and you see in the game. Um, but it was one of probably the best games I played in for CFC. Um, and I think uh, we got the victory, not because of the players on the pit field, but because of you guys uh, who were there. It was such an amazing atmosphere uh, up there with uh, the, you know, the, the Cosmos final game. Um, so again, hope everybody's well at this difficult time. Um, but I hope you guys you know, have fun watching, watching the, uh, the, this great game. And uh, hope you hope everybody's well. And uh, I'll see you all later. Peace. <laughs> Hey, this is Cam. This is Brian Beamett. This is Caleb from Chattanooga Football Club. Reminding you to get your flex tickets. Get your flex tickets. Come get your flex tickets from cfctix.com. because the players have the same quality and they've got the same feel for the game and where to play. So, um, yeah, it's, it's been... Everything's come together this season and we're excited about that. Yeah. Now we have both teams walking by the cup. Referee picked the ball up off the table. Everybody gets a glimpse of it. Right. We know what we're playing for at this right. point. The excitement is rising. They've now gone right. beyond the cups. They'll line up here at midfield, sing the national anthems. We'll present the lineups once again, just in case you weren't here when we went over them just a little right. while ago. Right. But we're going to send it over to the stadium announcer mm -hmm. and then the national anthem singer. But we can't wait to get oh, this yeah. thing started. The Chatter Hooligans are excited. <laughs> and Simon, we're well on our way to 10,000 tonight, I think. Oh, uh, so Chattanooga are just seeing the, uh, the gold and light blue uh, outfits, uh, Miami in black with a nice blue streak in the front, um, but we've got those. 
Black is going to be warm tonight, but that's all good. Their goalkeeper's in bright pink. So I'm sure the chat will give them the, uh, the cute's name or something. Oh, yeah. kind of <laughs> they'll give them a little bit of a hard time. Play abysmal or something, but they'll, uh, <laughs> they'll do that. So the announcer's going to go through the, uh, the team lineups now. Number three, Camacho. Number 37, Rambo. Number 99, Wellington. Number two, Donato. Number one, Omar Estrada. Number 17, Diego Hurtado. Number 11, Mauri. Number 9, Noah Sadoui. And number 5, Esse. And now, the starting lineup for your Chattanooga SC. Coming through loud. Yeah. The hooligans, uh, they get excited, don't they, Simon? A little bit. Yeah. <laughs> Number 14, Kieran Bywater. Number 7, John Courier. Number 12, John Finlay. Samuel Curry. Number 27, Greg Hartley. Number 19, Juan Hernandez. Number 11, Sindra Weyla. Number 17, Luke. Number six, Jake Young. And number 24, Soren Juhaschek. So, yeah, trying to get ready to kick off. Simon, free kickoff? Yeah. Attendance, guess? What do you Attendance think? Guess. Oh, I'm going to say 8,000 cars. 8,000? Okay. Yeah. What are you going to say? I'm going to go with 10,200. Okay. All right. So I'm okay. going over. Simon's That's going fine. just a little bit under. Okay. We'll see. They usually get that to us about the 70th minute. For now, we're yeah. off and going. CFC with possession out here with John Finley. Straight okay. away, long Anybody ball go? towards Sammy Goni. <laughs> Touch there by Juan Hernandez. Okay, thank you for that. We'll uh, we'll call number three, or I'm sorry, number twenty, Cal Gajon. Um, we'll call him Nacho throughout the match. Thank you to the stream there. Thank you, yeah. thank you for that. All right. So first uh, foul of the game gives uh, Miami a free kick in their own half. A little bit of short possession here. You see a CFC's line. A yeah. confrontation there. Pushing well done by John Finley, winning the ball and getting it back to the goalkeeper there. That's number one, Estrada, throughout the match. He's done really well throughout the season, just right. marshalling his yeah, defense, great season. keeping them organized, yes. Yes. and uh, he's going to look to do so again tonight. Facebook stream, we got people uh, yeah, from Lexington. So welcome, welcome here to Chattahooligan Live in, in Finley Stadium in beautiful Chattanooga, Tennessee, mm -hmm. for this match against uh, CFC and uh, Miami FC United. Miami mm -hmm. well, playing a bit of keep ball here, not uh, in too uh, aggressive yet. 
You see Chad Nugaf, see just closing down those spaces, just so organized behind the ball. Well, that's it. They're looking for, they're always say they're looking for that crack in the defense, and they haven't found it yet. They're just probing, see where the weak guy is, who's a bit slow to respond, things like that. Uh, it's uh, on the far side with Miami. It's, uh, I don't think it's CFC Kai Hammer pushed the ball deep. Luke Winters chasing, but uh, Mari forced to put it out from the throw. Yeah, and you see the defender there give his goalkeeper the thumbs up. I think the goalkeeper asked for the ball to try and play the ball away to safety, but the defender ends up giving away the corner kick, and that's just a testament to Luke Winter chasing down everything. He's right. going to do that for 90 plus minutes tonight, Simon. He won't right. stop. So here we go. Sindre well taking the throw. Short back to Sindre. High in the box. Who's on the end of it? The goalkeeper came for it there. It, bombing around the box, but it comes in Miami's favour, and they're uh, trying to clear it. And they were thrown in the process, but uh, it's a bit uncertain the box there. Yeah, you, <laughs> you would think as, a, as the goalkeeper, he'd want to come and claim that and, and have a nice early claim. Right. That, like you said, Simon, that looked a little bit unsettled, and, and you know that won't help the goalkeeper settle into the game. Yeah, so you know. Hopefully Chattanooga Football Club can try and capitalize upon that, but yeah, it's a good touch at least early in the game for the United, Miami United goalkeeper. Trying to keep possession here on this near side. And that ball went just out of bounds. CFC throw in in front of their bench. Long throw there by John Finley. Playing along this near line, and I'm tactically playing along this near line again with pretty much the risk of it going out there for a slight touch. They keep doing that. Nice flick on there. Ooh. <laughs> oh, Luke Windsor. Nice to get the ball deep, trying to chase it down. Jake Young fighting for it there. Jake Young so strong. Side, trying to cross the ball. John Finley there again to clean up. The clean up man. Miami trying to press forward again. Nice possession of football here. Yeah, and that, that was number eight. Mache just putting the pressure on John Finley there and Jake Young, making sure that they didn't have any time. Juan Hernandez nice able to break forward here. And was can CFC break. They've got the men forward, they got the speed. That's Sammy Goni on Sammy the far Goni. side. Ducky and diving and body check. Yeah, and there's a the foul. Miami defense. Very bad body check from the Miami defender there. And you see Sammy talking to the referee. Obviously he felt like there was a lot of an advantage going forward. Right, there was. CFC had numbers, so he's asking for the card. We're only in the fifth right. minute, so the referee right. is kind of hesitant to give it there. But you can see why he was asking for yeah, it. The That's a good. The yeah, that was a good break by CFC. It was that they had to do something about it. So, yeah, so. yeah mate, so we might get to use these cards tonight too, guys. It's a good ball into the box. In the box. Oh, sports. Oh, wow. Wow. Taking a shot. No, no, there's no way that can be. There's no way that can be a goal kick. That's good. I came off the goal yeah, kick. Yeah, uh, yeah. I think the referee is making that's a, a change here. I think the referee is making a, a change here. It came off the goal kick. As soon as no, that. that shot, yeah, that's a poor call. Oh, what a that's bad a poor, call. Yeah, that's a poor call. Bad in this game. That was a great strike Obviously. by Stringer Willow. Obviously that was deflected. No, I'm not. I don't know if it was the goalkeeper. There was definitely was a defender the in there. He was the last man. was off the goalkeeper. Poor referee. I'm sorry, that's going not on good enough. No, yeah, that should have been that's a corner kick there. Enough. And uh, yeah, at this level, you would think the referee really? should be able to see that and give that. Absolutely. Obviously, the coaches have a problem with it. Players are upset, but you know the referee's not going to give it. Miami is able to play the ball out. Mm -hmm. But Matt Aldred up there to win the header and intercept it again there. Juan Hernandez wasn't able to flick that one around the corner there. Nice ball. A little bit too strong, but it goes out for a goal to CFC. And he had to get there. Mm -hmm. Luke Winter run. was creeping in behind, and you know he's got that good touch towards goal, so I think uh, that would have been an interesting situation. But the defender did well. Matt Alger just keeping possession here. Out to John Carrier. Oh, okay, John take a shot. He still got possession. Ooh! Off the defender for a corner kick. First corner kick of the game to Chattanooga C. And Luke Winter had just made that run across the box. He was trying to yell at his good buddy John Carey here right. on this right hand side. Just couldn't quite get it past the defenders there. Right. So now Kieran Byron were taking the first corner for us. Yeah. Welcome to Washington, D.C. also on the stream. How are y'all doing tonight? Kieran's going to look to get this ball in the box. Here we go. Deep in the box. Who's there? Ooh. 
Head of the wave, only far as one. Ball still bobbling around. Miami can't really get rid of it. CFC playing it back in, but it went to flicking it on. Still with Sammy Goni under pressure. Kieran Bywater chipping it in. Simpson do Waylow taking a shot. Ooh. And that's the second really, yes. really good opportunity for Sindre out there it on is. that side. He did well. Juan Hernandez picking it's it up, trying to get that pressure in there again. That was excellent. Ball was bubbles to Miami. Yeah, Miami. And eventually yeah. they were able to get it out. Yeah, great chance for Sindre. Uh, the keeper was right behind it in a good position. He held yeah. that well. Manu trying to break now. Yeah, three against five here at Miami. Yeah, he goes down, but not quite enough in it for the referee to blow his whistle. John Finley in there, really. Oh, and, and the referee called the whistle. The whistle. Yeah. yeah. There may have been some contact whistle. in there, so the referee blew the whistle. This is going to be an opportunity to be dangerous for Miami. See what happens here. Yeah, lots of players pushing in there. Straight at Gregor Hartley. No problem. Well held, Gregor Hartley. That was dangerous, though. You could see the pace on it. He got it over the wall and into Greg Hartley's hands, but again, good positioning by Greg as always. And there's the long ball. Deep, deep for the easy for the keeper. You see Greg put his hand up just a little bit too, too driven. Not enough air under that one to allow Sammy Goni to get under it. Miami's able to settle into a little bit more possession here. Simon, do you care to go back to that guess of 8,000 from earlier? Because it's, uh, yeah, it's looking a little bit, uh, a little bit more full on that. wrong. People on the grass, too, on the lawn behind the, uh, the away goal. So I'm saying, yeah, we should have 10,000 tonight. I think so. That's great. Well, I'm man, excited, reach yeah. Our, reach our team goal like that. That's great. So, mm -hmm. I mean, the weather's perfect, so you All can't right. really not come out. It's a lovely summer evening here in Chattanooga. The season certainly it's a great, great lonely time to be here. So we'll win it back. Um, losing it again, Chattanooga trial come through. John Carrier sneaking through. Luke on the ball. Long deep ball. Broken up by a bad defense ball play. Yeah, and you can see Luke was trying to find his strike partner there. Miami doing a good job skipping away from Matt Aldred there. Yeah. Left hand side, John Finley coming over. Keep young holding him up. Ball chip deep and two deep. Sindri Wailo on top of the defender. Miami coming in, trying to come through the top of the box. Well done by Juan Hernandez. Ball into the ball. box there. Greg Hartley at the end of that, no problems at all. And a quick outlet to John Finley, who's bursting down this near side. Sammy Goni down the line. That's oh, and he was held there. Yeah, that's got to be a yellow card. Can you see there. Sammy gesturing for it there? I think we're going to see that. Yeah, that's a professional the foul there. Referee going into the card. He's got one right. He's going to get it. Yeah. And he's talking to number eight there. I think the caution is going to be from number three, and that's Camacho. And that's that's a center back for Miami, and you don't want to see right, him with a yellow right. card this early into the game, no, about 11 not. and a half minutes in. So the 12th minute, you don't want to have your center back on a yellow card, but CFC will look to exploit that throughout they the will. game, really they put will. him well, under pressure. Make him make a second error. Exactly that's right. right. And then they're going to be gone. So Chat Hooligan's waving yellow cards en masse. So that was pretty cut and dry. So... Let's see what we got here. Kieran Bywater over the free kick. I'm interested to see if he uses John Carrier right. here on this near room. side. I yeah, he's marked up deep. now. Now he's going deep. Oh, I got to get it over that first oh, man, Kieran. Great free kick. Now so, Aldred has the chance to put it back in again. I think no, no cycle. It's a bit too long. Yeah, you can see. Ducking and diving around, trying to find that space to come through the ball, sneak it through. Trying to keep possession. That's a deep, deep ball. Is it too deep? No, it's in. Collision with John Finley there. The referee's giving the giving a foul. He's giving the foul on Miami's way. Yeah, and the Miami players are asking for a card there. You can see John yeah. tried to get his body in between the attacker and the and the ball there just got a little bit too much of the attacker for the referee's liking. I don't think we're going to see a card here, but it's definitely a free kick. Miami's going to try and be dangerous here, and really it's a good opportunity in a, in a good space here. So. And we'll see if they've got the same for this set piece. Yeah. We're in the, uh, the 15 minute, 15th minute of the first half. Time's already gone fast. Yeah, Matt Aldridge back on the field, so we're back to full strength for both teams. 
Ball coming in the box here. Here he goes deep. Two deep and over the bar. They're not bad a dipping ball and quite dangerous here, then a bit low. And that was fouled by Miami. Yeah, and a little bit of afters there. Referee blowing the whistle really hard as he ran over towards yeah. it. Oh, he was. The, uh, We'll see what happens here. And by water down there, he doesn't usually go down easily, so. He's taking a second to make his decision and check on Kieran there. Holding his, uh, holding his ankle, he got a clip pretty hard. Discussion going on with the CFP players and, uh, and that show there. <laughs> I mean, a little heated chat. So, yeah, I'm waiting to see how bad Kieran Sutz's his left ankle got a knock. Yeah, he's been down there for he quite has. a while, so I mean, you never like to see that. It takes a lot to knock Kieran down, so it must have been a fairly serious tackle. No, it's number 20, Nacho, coming off the field. Deep long throw flick. Good oh. flick by Luke Winter. In the box, still plenty of space. Ooh, Sammy good turn Gary there the by ball. Sammy. Oh, oh and a snatch shot. shot yeah. Blocked well by Miami. Exactly right, Simon. He just kind of snatched that one, tried to get the quick shot, and Miami closed it down, yeah. And trying to come through on the near side, but we're at number one, and Andes chipping the ball off. Still with Juan Hernandez coming through strong, but Miami get it back. Luke Winter possessing it. While you were talking, Simon, to win the throw in off right. the Miami player. Ooh, Ooh and that a was a little boot. bit of a high boot. Yeah, I think Definitely the referee's got that, that one. one. Yep. Too. Yep. Yeah, Waiting to see where the ball bounced to oh, after that, but yeah, I think. Three, very high. Yeah, yeah, it wasn't carry his head. That's and he's got to be careful. He already has that caution. That's Camacho. Yep. And uh, he already has one yellow card, so he's got to play with a little bit more careful. Yeah nature than maybe that he would like to. That wasn't quite careful at all, there. No. <laughs> that was pretty aggressive. Yeah. Okay. And the referee's done well so far, Simon. Couple cards, couple talking to, but uh, yeah, he's, he's done a good job keeping the flow of the match so far. Uh, Kieran Bywater with another Kieran Bywater free kick, where he put the last one in the same position. This time I think he's going to try something different. He's trying to get the United players back 10 yards because they're not back to regulation distance. That's the referee getting his magic spray out to mark the 10 yard line. He should be doing this, this level again. Kieran so with the good D ball in. There it goes. Oh! oh! And he, you can see Sindre there again with another opportunity. That's three opportunities really? for him in this first half. Mm. And not often do you get that many opportunities as right. a defender, but he puts right. himself in those opportunities. Mm. And wow, I think he's going to bury one if he gets another he is. chance. If he gets a chance, yeah. he deep ball again, trying to come through. Nice touch. And they come in space, they're shot in. Being choked out by the CFC defense. And not Good a lot cut, of shooting all into the box here. Oh, and a head around. Miami get their first corner kick of the game. Here goes Miami. Deep swing in the box, pushed out. Sammy Goni up, putting a little bit of pressure on the ball. And we Miami. come back again and repeat that. Driven in, deflects away. Not all good. Clears it, huge kick. Out of the halfway line. Good play. You haven't quite seen John Carrier in the game as much as we would like right, to. Right. Well, hopefully he can get on the ball here in the next couple right. minutes and, and try and make a difference. But Miami come down the middle. Outnumbered. Still with Miami. Good possession. Deep in the box and pushed away by Sword Yastrzak. Miami looking to regroup, try and shoot from way out, but Gregor Hartley holds it. Well, palms it away and then it's safe. I was say he was, uh, had his hands on it, but it was, it's been hit pretty hard. Luke Winter again. The defender climbing all over Luke Winter there. Miami, Take that invitation. Yeah, I don't think that was going to happen, Simon, but all right, never Deep know, ball. Wong and Anders pushed over in the box. Referee doesn't do anything. Wong goes down holding his head. He got, he got, he got hurt there. Yeah, there was definitely some he contact with the head there. The box. Juan went down immediately. You don't see him go down very easily. He's usually a scrappy player, loves the contact, and, and, and is pretty strong. So he is. You know, there was definitely some contact it there. There really was no uh, penalty given, but it could have been one by some some lines would have given that. Yeah, nothing uh, nothing yeah. given in the end, and Miami's right. goalkeeper putting it back in play.
know what the hooligans think. Absolutely, I'll rest the ground. So. Yeah. And uh, to be fair, they have a pretty good view of it. Like I said, there yeah, was right some there. contact. Right, um, was. Not sure if it merited a, a penalty kick, but you know those are the decisions. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah, that one was close there on the sideline for the throw-in. Miami earning their second corner of the game here. Greg Hartley positioning his defense. One on each post, one right in front of him. So it's a classic uh, position. Miami going short, no, going long. Ball with loose and. Flicked away there. Mark oh, was a very weak shot. Luke Winter did well there defending. Uh, steaming through and the Miami, but the, number, uh, number 34. It's coming their way, Luke Winter trying to win it, but it's still loose. John Phil John Carrier, John Carrier steaming through, forward. going for the shot. With a great strike. Oh, oh look at that. that. And as we mentioned earlier, John wow. Carrier hasn't quite been as present in the game as we right, usually see, but. Right. You can he see he just there. burst onto the scene there. <laughs> nice touch. Jim Carrey with the ball coming down the line. He's choked out by three players on him. <laughs> well, the CFC Mithra is still a bit closer to help each other out. They left him a little bit isolated there. Yeah. I agree with you, Simon. You see all those Miami United yeah, players kind of surrounding him and no options that. really from his it's, midfield yeah, partners. Now he's trying to sneak through, going for a shot. Oh, that's right in front of the goal. Bounces around. Inside netting. Cool there, yeah. Not scared by the, uh, the approaching Miami play. Yeah, he had a couple of the hooligans. Oh, and Touch. that's a nice flick. John Carrier ball. driving at the Miami Carrier defense 23. here. He's got three on Carrier three. by Waters. And oh, and there's, down. that's going to be a, a yellow tackle. card, I think. Get that's a crash tackle. And that's number three. He already has a yellow he card does. today. If the referee chooses to give the second yellow, that's going to be problems for Miami. You would think that's going to be a little bit smarter of a challenge for number three there, but he's walking away really, really quickly, trying to get away from the referee. That's smart. Let's see what we got. Here we go, hitting it long, hard. Oh, well held by the keeper. He pushed himself very well and gathered up, no problems at all, but a good strike. That was Kieran Bywater with the strike. He's got that foot's healed up pretty well. He's okay. Yeah. <laughs> Right. He's kind of grown back into fitness over the past couple games. You saw him you know, get about 60 minutes and then about 80 minutes, and you know he's ready for those 90 minutes tonight of grueling soccer. It's an elimination game, as always. We talk about South Regional Championship game. The winner gets a trophy. Right. And uh, it's really a meaningful game, yeah. Yeah, go and play some more soccer next weekend, too. And uh, the winner of this game will definitely host the next game. So if Miami wins, it'll be in Miami. And if CFC wins, it'll be back here in Chattanooga, Tennessee at Fort Finley. So, you know, we're excited. Still 0-0 as we approach the 43rd minute. Miami with a little bit of possession here. Working the ball. Long diagonal here. Nice long ball there. Yeah, CJ Whalo underneath it. That's a great, nice head. CFC on the far side with the throw. Trying to make something of it at the end of the first half. Ball deep in. Kieran Bywater flicked on by the Miami defence. And that's what's gone out. Yeah, that's out for a corner kick, that's Simon. A corner kick on the far side, on the near side of the chat hooligans. Can, uh, can we get a goal at this stage of the game? It would be a great time for a team to score if they're going to love for them. John Carrier taking the corner this time. The hooligans trying to get out there with their voice. Kaylee Riley getting them pumped up. We got scarves flying. <laughs> As you mentioned, Simon. Yeah. Corner coming in. in. Keep Goalkeeper away. did well there Good in a lot of traffic. Miami well, plays a forward, yeah. Jake Young strong there with the defense. Looking to continue this the pressure the that they've had. Absolutely. in the middle. Playing it wide across the Sydney Whaler. Deep, deep. Luke Winter on the end of it. Keeper has to push it away. Yeah, I that's think another that's corner. corner. Yep. More pressure. And Simon, I heard we have one extra minute of added time added here mm -hmm. at the end of this first half. Mm -hmm. And I think that's appropriate. Okay. It's, uh, it's flowed pretty well. A couple cards, so we might have gotten two, but I think one minute's okay. Here in Bywater coming over to the near side to put the ball into play for the corner kick here right before halftime. Hopefully mm -hmm. CFC can get the ball in the net here. 
Right, there he goes deep again. The keeper's on the end of yeah. that very well. Had. Well done by the goalkeeper. It's twice in a row he's come out really yeah. strong. He's having to come for those balls. Right? Yep. Yeah, he does. He's yeah. having to do that. First time with a really strong punch. That time he claimed it and held it. So, and the good ball up there to his strikers as well. So Able to get a time. touch on it. But, yeah, couldn't quite bring that second touch down. John Carrier ducking and diving. Money breaking him down. Very nicely, they're looking to come away again. Guillermo, I think you're right. I think it was two minutes. Our apologies on that. It gets a little bit loud here in the stadium. Miami with a little bit of possession, trying to work it forward on the far side. Cut out there by Sonia Haschek. Juan Hernandez trying to get possession there. Miami did really well to poke the ball away. And Kieran Bywater was just a little bit late. And I think that sends us to halftime. So Simon, a very even half. A couple cards for Miami, a couple opportunities for both teams. Right. Goalkeepers did well on both sides, but no goals. 0-0 zero, zero going into halftime. The uh, Miami players are talking to the referee about something. They're not happy about a call that was made, I think. Hey, this is Cam. This is Brian Beamett. This is Caleb from Chattanooga Football Club. Reminding you to get your flex tickets. Get your flex tickets. Come get your flex tickets from cfctix.com. First half, and they're off, and wait to see what they get to next. <laughs> well, we can't help you with your tea there on the uh, the live stream. I, I don't know what uh, what to do to make it not taste like soap, but hopefully you can just put a little bit of sugar in it, settle in, and enjoy this second half. Miami with a little bit of possession, trying to work the ball forward here. Matt Alter able to cut that one out, work it forward to Luke Winter. Good combination immediately with Sammy. Coming through, I think it was blocked by the defender of the tackle, but... Uh... And I think if his touch had been a little bit cleaner, right. a little closer to him, the referee has a decision to make, but right. that that touch was always going to the... Yeah, see him getting in here. Going deep into the corner of the Miami County box. It's a goal kick to Miami, but uh, good pressure early on from Chanu. I think he's able to win the throw in, throwing it towards Sammy there. He's complaining to the referee, but to be fair, the referee's been fairly consistent with kind of the amount of, of, of physical play that he's allowed. You know, there's a lot going on, a little bit of, of hands, so he's, he's let it go. A good turn there by Kieran Bywater into Sammy's feet. Possession one by Yeah, good defending there. Yeah. Miami still with possession, trying to come forward. Driving forward there. Now up to the side. A shot. Good Malik cut. Space for shot and dispossess. Matt Aldridge. Well played, Matt Aldridge. Good defense. Just and read it so right. well. He was that extra mm -hmm. main, as you mentioned, Simon. Yeah. Three against four. That was and it. he just and read the ball as it rolled over and lined and out of bounds. Taking quickly back into play one and is over to. Kieran Bywater is in tender space. Kieran playing it deep into the box, and it's not there, but... Oh, oh wow! Oh. Just a header oh. wide, great ball in there by Kieran Bywater. Oh. The header goes just wide. You have the goalkeeper and Luke Winter on the ground as they collided, and Luke Winter usually will bury that one with his head. You see a hard, hard collision with the Miami goalkeeper. May have just put him off a little bit. Luke of a keeper already came to get a hard there. Simon, that was close. That was really close. And, you know, Luke Winter putting his body on the line for that one there. Just couldn't quite sneak it into the back post. Miami had a scare there. And uh, 
hearts and mouths, but the game is still 0-0 as we approach the 51st minute. The foul, but yeah. I think the referee was right there. Long ball into Greg Hartley. Matt Aldred able to turn here in midfield. Yeah, I would have liked to see Kieran continue on his run forward and, and just keep putting that pressure on. But yeah, you're right. Good ball here to Kieran. Nice. Oh, that's Sammy Goni back across. Oh, and the defender did really, really well. Yeah, we're approaching the 56th minute. Still much of the same from the from the first half. And Miami with this possession in their you know, defensive third, trying to work the ball slowly. CFC trying to be really dynamic, win the ball back quickly. As we see there, Sandra Wello getting the ball forward towards Sammy Goni. Cut out by the Miami United defender. Nice steal yeah, the good header. Miami keeping possession, going for the shot. But outnumbered. No foul call. Chattanooga mm -hmm. bringing it away. Kieran Bywater bringing it forward. Sammy Goni with the long run. He's one on one here, Simon. That's an opportunity he'll relish. And there he was. Yeah, he beat his defender. I think we're going to see a caution here, Simon. There's that famous yellow card. Yep. Nice body check on Sammy Goni right on the edge of the 18 yard box. And that's on the side of the 18 yard box. Let's see the referee get the players back 10 yards. The Jude Ward is magic spread out for this one. He hasn't done that tonight. Yep. It really is a helpful tool. It is actually. The Ball into the box here. Deflects out the wall, deflects it out, flits away, Miami, clear it. Well, several times, yeah, several times we've seen Kieran try to get the ball in the box. Hasn't quite beat the first man. His deliveries are usually much better. So right. hopefully, as the game wears on, we're now entering the 67th minute or so. He can get that one right towards the end. But yeah, hasn't hasn't quite been as sharp as usual. Turn there by the Miami midfielder. Juan Hernandez with the silly foul. Partly deep into the Miami half. Good winter foul, number 17. More climbing 17 on 17 there. And you see the referee gesturing with his hands. Right. You know, sometimes players will use their arms to get leverage and lift off the ground when they're going for those headers. Right. But the referee's just signaling that the Miami United player used Luke as, a, as something to propel himself forward, exactly, or, or upward. So he didn't like that. Again, and, and Luke was kind of holding his head just to make right. a point there mm -hmm. that the player maybe got him on the shoulder or something. CFC with the, yeah, Kieran Bywater getting it in. We're rushing in, here we go, curve it in. And that's better. That was a much better delivery by Bywater. Ball still bouncing around with good clearance by the keeper. And looks like Miami are going to get something out of this mode. Falls back to Chattanooga. And a long shot in the box. She has a shot or a pass, but Chattanooga is still with possession. Trying to get the ball on the ground. Good Mike the ball goes over. Referee says no foul. The play goes on, Miami trying to break. Very cool by Soren in there. Yeah, these set pieces are not uh, going quite the way they're planned, so I'll try something different to get the next free kick in the game. Miami with a long straight ball here. Gregor Hartley, Gregor Hartley yeah, out. As cool as he could be off the inside of his foot. Absolutely. Kieran Bywater on the floor again, but no foul given. Miami still trying to come forward, but they're outnumbered by Chattanooga players. Trying to find a gap. Will they find the gap to get the ball through? Going right across the park to the far side. Going to keep it in play and try to get that one-two going. Nice one-two. Will they sneak in? Try and get the ball across. Greg Hart is there, so thank you very much. And play continues. Chattanooga FC win throw. Still nil-nil. They might have had a goal by now. Yeah, I think you're right. It's uh, It's been an interesting interesting battle. Two really attacking teams. Matt Aldridge doing really well there in the center of the park. Takes a Miami player down who is apparently dying in great agony, though he's probably not that badly hurt. I think Matt's going to get a yeah, Simon. Yeah, and there's the card for... Yeah, I think we I think we knew that one was coming. It was been coming all game. Yeah, he's uh, had quite a few. Went in a little recklessly there and, and got the Miami player. Ended up three. Yeah, milking that one a bit. Yeah, he definitely comes on and, and finds that 
opportunity to find the winner. But that's not going to be it. Gregor just driving the ball long. Goalkeeper did really well to head the ball out, yeah. Long ball again. China can play a lot of these long balls. Not coming to much just yet, but they have scored goals that way, so I think they'll keep trying it. Ball into the box here. Deflected. Deep ball out. Oh! And the ball, yeah, put right across the edge of the six-yard box. Across the face of the goal. Yeah, Kieran Bywater with the left foot driving it across after it flicked off of either a defender or Sammy Goni, maybe a combination of the two. Miami player gets right in front of CFC to win it. Couldn't quite control it, though. CFC nice wins turn. it. Sammy Goat in possession. Loses his marker. Still goes, oh, take it yeah, down. And that's going to be a second oh, yellow card yeah, for number 14. That's the and he has left the game. Oh, and you just, foul. He knew immediately, and he knew immediately as he went into that challenge that it was going to be a problem. Sammy, too quick for him, put the ball by him. And then the defender really just came in crashing, got Sammy. No question on the yellow card there. The referee straight into his pocket. Second yellow for the Miami player, number 14. He's been sent off. That's Daniel Godoy. And for the rest of the game, Miami will be playing with 10 players. And this is an opportunity for CFC to really turn the screw now. Kieran Bywater with the ball in here. Back post. Flick down. Oh, and just wide. How does he miss that? On his left foot, Jake Young. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, that was John Finley with his left foot there right in front of the net. Just couldn't get it on frame. It goes just wide. The Miami goalkeeper on the floor, not sure whether he dove into a player or dove into the net or the post or something, but uh, he's on the floor. What an opportunity for CFC to get that ball in the box and score their assignment. Nope. We're ready here. Ball into the box. Here it goes. Greg oh, Harley. Whoa. I think got a touch on that. Right across the goal, he did, he touched it away. It's a corner to Miami. Yep. That was dangerous there, touch. Simon. Absolutely, he couldn't miss that one. Whether it was close to the goal or not. So. Very interesting. So Miami's still on the offensive, this time with a corner in the near side, keeping the pressure on Chattanooga. Still with a push and shoving around the uh, middle of the penalty box. <laughs> Too much that referee lets him get away with the ball deep in. Miami on the ball, heads it away, and I think it's bobbling away for a goal kick. Yep. Right, right. But for now, right. Miami corner into the box. Deep into the box, push that one. Nice punch. And the, the Miami Spread attacking the player Gurney. saw Sammy Greg. Gurney is possessed, but brings the ball down. And nice, Miami, nice punch. Miami the, the chances that CFC is going to have when Miami clears their lines, right, right. it's that extra person that CFC is, is, has is, to collect the ball and come. Overland. Yep. Have that extra wave coming back to. Towards Miami. Right, right. Seems Whaler played strong there. Got help. Got Kieran by Walter. Kieran's going to cross it. Charged down by the Miami defense very nicely. Very strong. And that one went out for a corner after that was deflected off of the defender there. Corner, so Chamney with a corner on the on near side here. Uh, Kieran by Walter taking that one. Nobody's coming up. See what we got here. Kieran with the ball coming in, swinging in. Back post. Deep, headed away, but loose. One hand is getting on the end of it. Sit up in the air, still bobbing around, still loose. Balls, oh, come on. That was right in front of Luke Winter. <laughs> yeah, and I think the referee has the flag up on that ball. Back into the box by Sindra wow. Wailo. Chattanooga FC. Just in swinger again. Deep, long, the keeper's ready for that and push it out. I think the keeper's going, oh, they're going to play this long, and they do. And the keeper's ready for it. So, a long one. It's in Luke Winter. Flicks it back with nobody there, but Chapman will recover the ball. Uh, Aldrin chips it in. Keeps us, thank you. Makes a huge dramatic save. <laughs> a bit more composure this time. Out to John Carrier's feet, and he's able to turn and come forward. I think we have number 33, who we were talking about earlier. That's uh, Frank Long Pieske um, coming on from Miami as soon as he can. Ball into the box here. Knotted down. Kieran Bywater is going to be able to collect it. Long way over. John Finley is on marks. It's a touch on the ball. Miami break it down. Good touch there. It was. It's good defense. Trying to come through. 
doing a good job to keep it in and drive towards the CFC defender, Matt Alger. Able back. to get back. He, he does so well at that. Very calm to do that when you're under pressure and head back to Greg Hartley. So Greg gathers the ball up and uh, can we try to look forward and come through again. Kieran with that cross field ball that he loves to play mm -hmm. over there. John Finley bringing it down coolly. And then drive forward and another cross field back. Ball back to here. Just oh. overhead a little bit. Goes back to throw to Miami. We've seen that before in other games here, haven't we? Yeah, and it builds and builds and builds throughout the game. It and does. It's that excitement of the last couple minutes. See who's going to get that winner. See who's going to go on. CFC trying to get that equalizer. I think the referee's going to play advantage here. He did well. Flips on. Yeah, I think a little bit too much contact there is. I think that was John Carrier getting into the box. Just jumped into the Miami player, knocked him down. Here, Zeka in particular will look to, to put his stamp onto this game. Right. Oh, yeah, we definitely remember t -Vol. Foul. Yeah, something's happened here. I mean, being a bit uh, aggressive as the game goes towards the end of time. You're getting ready to make another substitute from Miami. And Kieran Miley would have got another knock. He's uh, been the target tonight, I'm afraid. Kieran Miley will again taken down by three. Miami defenders, they are just really hard in tonight. They know he's dangerous and it's all over. Kieran Bywater is taking his time. It's just taking so long to get these free kicks in. And, know, this, this, and, this, and this is what Miami wants to do. Oh, Eventually right, he's going to have to give a caution for this stuff. Yeah, is. This is taking so long. We have the fourth official on the field and then the yeah, Miami yeah, players yeah. taking steps forward after he sets them. It's, it, right. The referee has to deal with this eventually. Ball into the box here. That's the way. Oh, oh, wow. Nearly. <laughs> and that was deflected off of one of the Miami defenders. Had the goalkeeper going the wrong way, but the goalkeeper did really, really well to stop his feet, change directions quickly, and pounce on that ball in the end, keep it from going in the goal. It trickled in though, didn't it? It really did. <laughs> Simon, I wouldn't be surprised to have four minutes of stoppage time here tonight. Right, it's been a long second half. Yeah, this second half has been so choppy. And more stuff going on right here in the middle of the field. There's another yellow card. Oh. And the ref, the and there's some contact with the referee. the referee. Took down Jake Young. Set them there. Six cards. Yeah, six yellow cards. Ball's come through. Oh, and I thought that's a penalty. Surely that's a penalty. Cut down in the box. Wow, not given. And the referee just waves play Jack on. Keep the pressure on, but wow, that was a strange call there, Carlos. I think the referee is letting the players decide this one and, and kept his whistle in his mouth. You know, there may have been some contact, but, you know, this late in the game, right. you know, maybe that was something playing on the referee's mind. Absolutely. But Miami yeah. driving into Side the box here, through, though. Driving through. Greg and Hartley had smartly on the ball. Yep. Greg did really well there. We're in an extra time. This is when it gets exciting. Chattanooga so, mean, looking to drive forward to get that winning goal. Are they going to do it? Miami getting ahead of it, not uh, clearing it. Now they cleared it. That's... Uh, Good touch there by Kieran. Flicks it on, the Miami defense get hold of it. Still going through. Chattanooga playing hard there. Luis Shrewd working really, really hard to get the ball back. And we got another Miami player on the floor just trying to waste as much time as possible. And that's the end of regulation. That wasn't much regulation time at all. Yeah, I thought there might be a little bit more, but we've gone into the overtime period now. As we mentioned before, we'll take a quick break. We'll have two periods of 15 minutes, and then we'll go into PKs if we need to. Hey, this is Cam. This is Brian Beamett. This is Caleb from Chattanooga Football Club. Reminding you to get your flex tickets. Get your flex tickets. Come get your flex tickets from cfctix.com.
coming to their feet as we kick off halftime. Or, I'm sorry, extra time. As Simon said, we got 30 minutes at the moment. Miami United FC is down to 10 players. They had two yellow cards for number 14. That's Daniel Godoy late in the second half. So they've been playing with 10 men for about 20 minutes and will have to play with 10 until the end of the game at this point. So CFC was able to really turn the screw at the end of that second half, Simon. Right, they were. Looking to really make that pressure pay here as they go into the, the extra time. Direction to change ends. So Chattanooga still playing from uh, right to left. And uh, Manny playing from left to right, same strips, same players. So uh, tired legs out there, Carlos. Yeah, and that, you know, that, that week of rest that both teams got since last Saturday will really, really pay off tonight. Off. Yes. Manu trying to go for that long ball. Greg and Hartley heading away. Greg, Greg did really, really well there. Mm. Just stay calm, right. stay in front of the ball, and trying to waste as much time as he can. Again, Miami's playing with a man disadvantage, so playing with 10 men. So they're going to try and just see this game into extra time, or I'm sorry, into penalties. Well done by number seven there. Yep, Miami trying to come through here. Again, playing that wing. Oh, strongly taken out of this forward. No, no at all. That was Alexis Dominguez with good work for Miami. Right. Miami looking to get the ball on the box here, create some danger, maybe an opportunity. Deep, deep, headed in. Who's there? Greg is on the end of that one. A nice header, but it wasn't actually very accurate, so he was going away from the goal, but yeah. Again, they had space and time to get ahead of the ball. Yeah, that was a free header for Miami on the back post there, Simon, and that's not what my uh, CFC wants to see, especially Greg Hartley, but he was able to come forward, collect the ball. Nice cross-field ball here. Right, Sammy right. Goni, good control off the chest. Sandra Willer trying to get that overlapping run. Nice ball from Kieran. Yeah, well done there. Sammy Goni in tons of space, going to try and get a shot. Flips it off. Oh, no one there. Second. Okay. Right, that was that was Zeka, not Sammy. Still working the ball. Good oh, flick there. On. Kieran able to collect it, get it across. Oh, oh. Well Chest done by the Miami down. defender Chest there. Down there. Back in the play. You see the Miami coach gesturing. He's out of his technical area, trying to get the referee's attention so that they can get a sub on the field. But it doesn't look like the player's going to be able to continue down here. I think not. He's hurt. You'll have to from that. Yeah, it really is slowing down the game. Miami's doing a really good job of it, and, you know, it, it doesn't make for good watching or good spectating, but whatever they have to do to get through the game and get to those penalty kicks is what they're trying to do. CFC getting the ball in here. Headed back. Oh! Flicked away. Will Roberts, his first contribution to the game, is heading the ball. somebody fresh mentally too off that that does uh, affect the player so Miami trying to come forward with a very fast attack now uh, looking forward trying to make space they're stranded out by six CFC players but uh, they're trying to push forward and get that goal they know they've got that off the hook for that penalty miss and they are trying their best to make something out of this so now uh, Chattanooga defending from left to right nice steal from the Roberts there trying to set uh, Sleepy Davidson free but the Miami defense break it down. So Chattanooga playing from left to right, Miami defending from the, uh, the brewery in, attacking towards the stadium. Chattanooga 
Manu trying to come into the box. Snoopy Davison fighting for the ball there. Still wins it back. Back to Matt Aldred. Playing it wide. John Finley coming down the near side now. Deep in the box. Miami head it away. And Miami clear it finally. But not only as far as the midfield for CFC. Stealing the ball away. Now they're trying to break. One Miami striker against five CFC defenders. Not much of an even battle. Keeping possession, but uh, having to play it back in the end. Oh, and the referee's Keep possession. And uh, trying to find that gap. Miami playing high up. They're trying to play the offside trap. Will Roberts coming through. Louis Trude trying to get a shot, but he's out of space. On the far side, Miami push it out. Out for the throw of Chattanooga. The attack breaks down, but Chattanooga is trying with danger. <laughs> well done by CFC to get a little bit of pressure into the Miami box. The defenders got the ball away. CFC with the corner here, not to drive it in. I think that's Luis Trude getting it in to the near post. Still Miami pushing it out. Cleared away by Miami, well. Ah, uh, a bit of a high challenge, but the referee has play go on. Yeah, two on two here for Miami if they can break quickly. Trying to run John Finley, very strong there. Run the ball back, Gregor Hartley out. Clears it nicely. Almost takes the shins off the Miami player, but uh, probably not his primary concern today. Ball pushed back into the CFC half, Sylvia Weller on the end of that one, but it's high in the air, Miami heading it. To Jake Young, who uh, at the time looks up in space and feeds Louis Trude on the far side. Another collision, no foul given. Yeah, people, looks fans like here in the Davis stadium. Got the knock. And we just got the Miami player rolling around on the floor. Oh, like, oh, it's not, it's not going to do you any good, man. Where the play's going on while Miami are having action lessons on the far side of the field. Oh, trying to come down the far side. He goes out for a throw in. Uh, in the last couple minutes here, Simon. Mm -hmm. About six and a half, and then maybe a little bit of added time onto right. it. And we'll see what happens. Miami driving forward three against two here. Two nice cut. Side. Come on, get the shot in. And again, oh, oh wow. wow, what a strike what a by, by Bazanta there. Hit two posts, hit the top bar, and then carry him off of the post and out so close. That ball could have gone anywhere off of the post, Simon. Gregor Hartley, just so thankful to collect that one from outside of the net and not in the net. Absolutely. A nice shot for Miami there, very dangerous indeed. Good ball, ball into the box the air, there. And the Grammy keeper drops the ball, picks it up again. Um, yes. A lot of people in the box. Snoopy Davidson trying to get in there on the end of that one a little bit late and uh, got onto the to the goalkeeper from Miami there. Mm -hmm. That was just electric at the stadium. You can hear that at home. Chattanooga, finally break it out. And this follows John Finley. Nice push on from John Finley. Can they see him that? CFC, no, it goes out. And Mammy Keeper has to come out of his box. Dribble it away and clear it from him. And that's John gone Finley's going to try it from long. Shot. Oh! <laughs> well, the Mammy Keeper was way out of the box. The yeah. real danger. It beat Gregor. It was definitely beyond mm -hmm. Greg. Right, right. And the uh, only thing that kept it out was the posts. CFC coming down there, Lewis Trude again, cleared away by the attacker and straight to the goal. Miami keeper. keeper falls on that. Paul Roberts is uh, getting a little too close to the keeper for his comfort, which is uh, interesting. There it is. Oh, oh the header! Wow. 
Well, CFC had it, but it goes over the bar. Lots of pushing and shoving here Lots on the ground there. And shoving this, and I think there's a little bit of... Uh, this really has been a chippy match so far and really coming to... Contact here. Yeah, it's it's really coming to a head here at the end the of this overtime period. This. I think there's maybe a yellow card that comes out of this. We have a Miami it's player on the floor. The ref referee's gone, they get a grip on his team. Yeah. This is what's happened, Carlos, because he hasn't got a grip on the game. Right. Yeah. And the player's just taken liberties yeah. now and he's... He's not got a grip on this game. The goal in the next minute. Absolutely, it's going to get very interesting here. And uh, yeah. I wouldn't want to be this referee going into his debriefing. There's been so either. much that's going on in this game. He's got to write a book about this. When yeah, there's, there's a lot to be talked about. And, you know, I think uh, I think you're right, Simon. He, he could have done a little bit better of a job handling some things and, and managing the game. Right. Right. Um, and, and he's just kind of let it boil over here in this overtime. But Miami with some possession, trying to bring it forward and craft an opportunity here at the end of the overtimes before we go to kicks from the mark. See if they can get the ball in the box here. Is nick that goal at the end. The applause will come and nick that goal. Playing it deep in the box, straight into Gregor Hartley's arms. He's out. Second Zeppa running with a quick throw. Zeppa coming down the near side. He's got Snoopy Davidson Snoopy making a long run. Roberts, but Marley and defense are up to it. Nice defending from Miami there. Trying to come through on that one. Referee blows the whistle, that's it. We go to the penalties. And that is the We're end. going to penalties. <laughs>
some high points, a few low points, but at the end of the day, and there's there the team is. celebrating, lifting the cup. Matt Aldridge to see. lifting it wow. with Greg Hartley there. The team's celebrating, jumping. I'm sure they'll come over, show the hooligans the cup. Our but I agree is. with you, Simon. It was a, it was a little testy, yeah. a little bit uh, fragmented throughout the game, right. especially right. in those overtime periods after Miami right. had gone down to 10 men. Right. They did their best to elongate it, get to the kicks from the mark. Sure. But uh, yeah. Greg Hartley with a good save on the uh, on the second penalty from from Miami and. Uh, they're bringing the cup over to the section 109 to celebrate with the hooligan Simon. The 12th man. <laughs> the 12th man is the hooligan, so and here they go. We yeah. have the uh, the dance and the Icelandic war chant to come. Pretty cool to watch. Seven or eight thousand people come together. And there they go, celebrating there with the Chattahooligans. There it it's is. been a good evening. Very much. It's been, a, it's been kind of a weird evening, Simon, but yeah. we got through at CFC, <laughs> advancing to the next round. They will host the next round. We'll let you know who they're playing sure, sure. as soon as we can. But Absolutely. for right now, Simon, I think it's time to sign out. Thanks for tuning in for the match tonight. What a fantastic game watching it. Just gives me chill, chills, bringing, brings back the memories. Um, as we had thought in the preparation of, for the match, uh, Miami would possess the ball. They did a good job of that. We keep the ball and keep it moving. But we stayed disciplined, kept our shape behind the ball, and most of the good goal-scoring chances came for CFC. The game was physical. There were a lot of yellow cards, red cards in the match, and it led up to a penalty kick shootout, which was tremendous, and I think was just uh, highlighted uh, in the end, uh, the crowd, the environment, and the team that we had. But uh, Greg Hartley came up with a huge save and then scored the goal to win the match. And uh, just undoubtedly cemented his place in the history of the club. A tremendous player, uh, one of the best players I've certainly ever coached, regardless of position. We miss him. Um, but we've got a great group of players now and a great goalkeeper now and we look forward to being back on the stadium, back on the uh, Finley Stadium turf soon with all of you guys there to cheer us on.